Hello, dear students, and welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, you are going to find out some interesting information. I promise you that you have go that you are going to see things that you have never, ever, ever seen before. You are going to see strange things, strange, but true. And that's the title of today's lesson. So. Let's start. Okay, so strange but true. Look at this. What's this? Can you guess? Right, it's an insect. What type of an insect? Okay, I'm going to help you. It's called a dung beetle. A dung beetle is an insect that is very, very unusual. It's not usual. It's not normal. It's unusual. This beetle is unusual. Why? Because it's very powerful. It has a lot of power, a lot of strength. In fact, the dung beetle is the most powerful insect in the world. Yes, it's so powerful that it can move things that weigh more than its weight. Isn't it amazing? Yes, it is. And some people say that it's very dangerous, so it's not really safe to come next to a dung beetle. It's not safe. It is dangerous. Okay, let's move on to the next surprising fact. What's this? Right, it's a hen. A hen lays eggs, right? A hen lays eggs to lay eggs. Very good. Now, the strange thing about hens is that they lay eggs only when the lights are on. When it's sunny outside, when there's sun, when there's light. And in some places, they, have, they turn on the lights to just help the hens lay eggs. Great. Wow, what's this? Right, it's a monkey. And this monkey is called a howler monkey. And why is that? Because it makes a lot of sounds. It makes strange sounds and sometimes funny sounds, but it sure does make loud noise. This monkey makes noise, a lot of noise, a lot of loud noise. So, it's loudly. This monkey speaks loudly. It yells loudly. Or I can say screams loudly. Loudly that people from very, very, very far away can hear it. Isn't it strange? Yes, it is. Great. Let's move on to this picture. Okay, this time is not an animal. It's actually an actor. His name is Adam Sandler. Does he look familiar? He is very, very funny. This actor is very funny. People laugh when he acts. He is very funny. 
He tells jokes and he has a lot of talent. When you can make other people laugh, you have a talent. There's something special about you. You're talented. When you have a talent, you're talented. And Adam Sandler has talent. Now, all the words that I mentioned now are all words that we're going to read once we read the text about strange things, as I promised you. And I'm going to keep my promise because I assure you that the things that we're going to read about are special. Yes, I'm sure you haven't heard about them before. Okay, now that we studied the word together, let's see if you can put the words in the correct place in the sentence. Okay, when you do that, make sure that you know the meanings of the words and that you know what part of speech is this word. Is it a verb? Is it a noun? Is it an adjective? Is it an adverb? I promise and I'm going to talk more about adverbs later on. So let's, let's start. One, birds, eggs, birds, eggs. So what do birds do? Do they sound eggs, lay eggs, loudly, Funny, talent, or safe? Hmm, what do you say? Well, we have only one verb here, which is lay, and it makes sense. Birds lay eggs. Very good. And I'm sure you know that we can't have a sentence without a verb. Right? That's why we need the verb lay. Excellent. Let's move on to number two. Don't speak. I'm trying to listen to the news. Don't speak. I'm trying to listen to the news. Is it don't speak sounds or loudly or funny or talent or safe? What do you say? I'm going to give you some time to think. Right, perfect. Don't speak loudly. I'm trying to listen to the news. Right, be quiet. You're talking too loud. Don't speak loudly. Very good. Number three. Wow, you sing beautifully. You've got, you've got what? I know that some of you are yelling out the answer right now. Right, you've got talent. Very good. Number four. He's so, he always makes me laugh. He's so what, he makes me laugh? Right, he's so funny. He always makes me laugh. Very good. Number five, the jungle is not a place to be in. It's not a... Right, it's not a safe place to be in. Very good, it's not safe. It's dangerous to be in the jungle, right? Perfect. Let's move on to number six. I can hear strange coming from your room. Perfect sounds. I can hear strange sounds coming from your room. I wonder what that is. What's that sound? Maybe it's a bird who is uh, outside the window. What do you say? Okay. You did an excellent job, you did it, and let's talk more about 
birds. What type of birds do you know? Great. Let's take a look at some birds that I'm sure that you already know about. Because I'm going to tell you about birds that you haven't heard about before. Let's see. What do we have here? Right, it's a dove. Very good. And what's this? A parrot. Very good. Some people keep pets. Uh, keep uh, parrots as pets. Right? And the parrot has a special talent. It can sing and it can repeat after you. Right? Very good. What else do we have? We have, yes, a peacock. Excellent. And a flamingo. And I'm sure you know more other, other uh, birds that I haven't mentioned now. But do you know the birds that we're going to read about today? Let's see. We are going to talk about birds that are really special. We're going to read about birds that live in Australia. Wow. Look at the picture. Do you see it? This is a bird. No, it's not an ostrich. It's not an ostrich. It's something else. Let's read about it. Australia's Unusual Birds There are many strange birds that live only in Australia. They do not live in any other place in the world. Only in Australia. This is the emu. It is a very big bird. Some emus are two meters tall. Wow, that's very tall. The emu has a long neck and long, powerful legs. It also has long toes. Look at the toes. Look at the picture. Right. The emu is a very unusual bird. Why? Birds fly. But the emu does not fly. It runs because of its long, powerful legs. It can run very, 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 very fast. It also swims very well. The emu lays very big eggs. It also swims very well. The emu lays very big eggs, right? We, we said that. And the family life of the emu is unusual too. The father bird sits on the eggs and looks after the young birds. He works hard to keep his family safe. Isn't this incredible? Right, yes, that's the emu. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions about the emu after we've read the text and let's check your understanding. Okay, why is the emu an unusual bird? Is it A, it can fly higher than any other birds? Or B, it can fly, but it runs very fast. What about C? It lays small eggs. Why is it unusual? Wonderful, excellent job. Yes, it can fly, but it runs very fast. Great, excellent. Let's move on to the next question. How is the emu family unusual? Hmm, how is it unusual? 
A. The father bird helps keep the family safe. Or B. The father bird runs away from the family. Or C. The father bird lays big eggs. Hmm. Perfect. Excellent job. Yes, the father bird helps keep the family safe. Yes. Great. Excellent. Are you ready to read about another bird? Ready or not? Here it comes. Wow, isn't it beautiful? Let's see what it's called and what's special about this? What's unusual about this bird? Here is the lyre. This fantastic bird sings beautifully. It also has a special talent. It can make the sounds of other birds. It dances too. It is a very funny bird. That's the lyre. Interesting, right? I'm going to show you the lyre and the emu. I'm going to show you what they like to do. You just have to wait and see. Let's read more about the third bird. The third unusual bird that lives only in Australia. This bird is the kookaburra. Birds sing, but the kookaburra does not sing. It laughs. It laughs loudly and happily. Wow, that's a special bird. Have you ever seen a bird laugh? I haven't. Well, actually, when I created this lesson, that was the first time that I've ever seen this. It's amazing. You're going to love it. Now, before we watch the animals and see them in action, let's answer some reading comprehension questions. Let's check your understanding. Okay, so that's the question. What talent does the liar have? Hmm, the liar, what talent? What's special about the liar? Well, he doesn't lie. <laughs> okay, A, it runs like the emu. Or B, it makes terrible sounds. Or C, it sings beautifully. Bingo! Right! It sings beautifully. The liar sings beautifully. Great! What about the kookaburra? What's special about the kookaburra? A. It laughs loudly. Or B. It doesn't make any sound. Or C. It can't fly. What do you say? What's the correct answer? Perfect! You guys are amazing! Right! It laughs loudly. Well done! Who can't fly? Right! The emu can't fly. Great! Perfect! Good job! Okay, now I'm going to read a sentence. And I would like you to tell me if it's true to which bird. Is it true to the emu or the liar or the kookaburra? According to the information that we read now. Ready? I know you are. So let's start with the first one. It can run at the speed of 50 kilometers per hour. 50. Imagine that. Is it the emu, the liar, or the kookaburra? What do you say? Of course, it's the emu. Well done. Excellent. It's the emu. Perfect. Great. 
Let's move on to the next one. It is very unusual to hear a bird laugh. You got this. I know. I know you got this. Perfect. Right. It's the kookaburra. Well done. Excellent. Moving on to the next one. It sings different songs. Who sings different songs? Is it the emu, the liar, or the kookaburra? Of course. Right. The kookaburra. Well, actually, the liar, right? <laughs> right. The kookaburra laughs. Right. It's the liar. Excellent. You got this. Great. Now, we're going to go on a short break. But don't go. Listen to what I need you to find out during the break. During the break, I need you to find out the name of this cute animal in the picture. Look at the picture on the screen and tell me what's the name of this cute animal that lives in Australia. Ready, set, go. I'll see you after the break. Come back soon. Hello dear students and welcome back to today's lesson, Strange But True. Before we went on a break, I asked you to find out the name of this cute animal over here. What do you say? I know, I know it's very easy, right? It's the koala bear. Great job, right? The koala, the koala lives in Australia, just like the birds that we've learned about today. Do you want to see them in action? Do you want to see the emu, the liar, and the kookaburra in action? Let's start. Okay, first I would like to read the sentence and then I'm going to show you the video. The emu runs quickly. The emu runs quickly. We said that it runs really, 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 really fast, right? Now I'm going to show you a video of how fast the emu runs. It runs quickly. Pay attention to that sentence because we're going to come back to the sentence again. I'm going to wait for a video to start. 
I would like you to pay attention to how fast the MU runs. Okay, I'm gonna skip the ads here. And out on the dusty red plains, mobs of emus survive in big numbers. Heavily muscled, heavily muscled legs and small wings make flying impossible. But no native Australian animal can run like the magnificent emu. Okay, we're going to stop here. Did you see how fast it is? Right, it's very, very, very fast and it has really, really strong legs. As we said before, it runs fast, it has strong legs and really small wings. That's why it can't fly, right? Isn't this amazing? Let's go on to the liar. The lyre bird sings beautifully. Now let's watch the lyre sings in action. You're going to love this. This is amazing. I'm going to wait to the video. And remember the sentence. The lyre sings beautifully. Just like the MU runs fast and quickly. Okay, let's take a look. That's the liar. Listen. nice yep it is great let's move on in our presentation let's go back to our presentation i'm going to close this and let's continue we said that the lyre bird sings beautifully and now we're going to see the kookaburra in action and it laughs loudly and happily and you're going to watch that i promise this is something that you have never seen before i was really surprised when i watched the video i've never seen a bird that can laugh it laughs beautifully and happily such a happy bird Yes, that's the kookaburra, and this is how the kookaburra laughs. Amazing! Great! Okay. Now, 
Let's take a closer look at the following words that I've read in the sentence. And I repeated them on purpose because I want you to pay attention to them. So let's see. What do we have here? Let's take a look at the sentences. The liar sings beautifully. The emu runs quickly. And the kookaburra laughs loudly and happily. Okay. What do all those words who are underlined, the words that has that have a line under them, what do they all have in common? Great, they end with L-Y. Now, what do they do to our sentences? What do they add to our sentences? And what do they describe? What do you say? Let's take a look at the first sentence. The liar sings beautifully. Now, beautifully describes what the liar? No, it describes the way the liar sings. It describes the how the action is done. How does it sing? It sings beautifully. Let's take a look at the second one. The emu runs quickly. The emu runs quickly. How does it run? It runs quickly. Right? The kookaburra laughs loudly and happily. How does the kookaburra laugh? Right? Loudly and happily. So, those words describe the action how the they describe the verb and how something is done okay perfect so these are these words are called adverbs adverbs like they add a meaning to the verb not really but this is the way you can actually remember them they almost all of them not all of them, end with L-Y. And we add the L-Y to the adjective. How do we do that? Very easy. It's a piece of cake. Beautiful becomes beautifully. Quick, quickly. Loud, loudly. Happy, happily. Very good. I can say that something or someone is beautiful and I can describe the things that he does or it does with an adverb. So beautifully describes the verb. Very good. You are beautiful. You sing beautifully. Okay. The MU is quick. It can run quickly. Okay? The radio is loud. It speaks loudly. Okay? I'm happy. I sing happily. Okay? That's the difference between an adjective and an adverb. Isn't it really, really, really easy? Let's see. I want to check. It's not that I don't trust you, but I want to check. Let's make sure. Okay, let's give it a try. Are you ready? Sit down, relax, take a deep breath, and take a look at this picture. Beautiful. Right. Okay, now take a look at the following words. We have hamster. Small, drinks, and slowly. Let's make a sentence. We have to make sure that when we make the sentence, we need to use the adjective small to describe the noun. And we're going to use slowly, that is an adverb, very good, to describe the verb can you make a sentence? I'm going to give you some 
uh, some seconds to create your sentence. Great, now let's check. One, two, go. That's the sentence. Do you have the same sentence? Let's read it together. The small hamster drinks slowly. Right, the small hamster, small is the adjective. It describes the noun. What's the noun? Hamster, of course, drinks slowly. Drinks is the verb and slowly describes the verb because it's an adverb. Very good. Right. So, if you got it correctly then, well done. If you didn't, don't worry. Let's give it another try. Take a look at this picture. Hmm. What's this? Another animal that lives in Australia, we have kangaroo, beautiful, jumps and happily. I'm going to give you some time to write your own sentences. You can do it, yes you can. Think. Which words here are nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs? Let's check. One, two, three. The beautiful kangaroo jumps happily. Right, jumps happily. Very good. Beautiful describes the kangaroo because beautiful is an adjective and kangaroo is a noun. Very good. And we have jumps is the verb and happily is the adverb and it describes the verb. Well done. Great. Perfect. Okay. Now. Everything must come to an end, my dear students, and this lesson is almost over. But before you go, I'm going to give you some tasks to do. Yay! I know you're very happy and excited about it, and you're going to learn a lot from this task. So, what's your task? You have to explore unusual animals. I need you to find out about another unusual animal that lives in Australia because Australia is full of amazing and beautiful animals. You can click here and find more information about animals in Australia and, a, and then you choose any animal that you want or you can Simply find information on other sites. Just, this is just here to help you. And then I would like you to write a short paragraph about this animal. And I would like you to include the answers to these questions. Now, if you answer the questions correctly and form correct sentences, just like we did together now, you're going to have the perfect paragraph. Okay? So let's go over the questions. Question number one. What's the name of this animal? Very easy. You choose an animal and you just write the name of this animal. How does it look like? How does it look? Remember we described the MU and we said that it's very tall. It has powerful legs. Right. Now you have to describe the animal that you chose. And then, what's special about it? Why is it special? Why is it unusual? And, what does it do? And here, I really need you to use adverbs. What does it do? You describe the action. You describe the verb. You have to use adverbs. Perfect.
Great. That's your task for today. I hope that you're going to enjoy doing this task. And once you're done, you can share your work with your teachers and or your classmates. I'm sure you're going to have a great time exploring different unusual animals. Great. Now, last point, I promise, I promise, okay? Last point, is it a cute the koala over here? Right. Before you leave, I just want you to know that you have um, an option here to practice the vocabulary words that we've learned today. And it's very important that you do that. And it's super important that you actually use the words that we've studied today in your task. So here you go. You have two Quizlet sets. I need you to scan the uh, QR that is relevant to you. You can uh, scan the one in Hebrew or in Arabic, whichever suits you, and then practice the, the words that we've studied today. You have a chance to practice them, to listen to the words pronounced correctly, to play different games with the words, and to learn the words again so you will master them. Okay? Do we have a deal? I can't hear you. Right, yes we do. Okay, thank you very much for being here with me in this lesson today. My name is Rania Isa and I really enjoyed teaching you today. I think that today's lesson was full of strange but true and amazing information. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.